Good afternoon, everyone. Bill Simons here with Columbia Grain in your Friday afternoon weekly market recap. Today, we're joined by Justin Beach, your Columbia Grain hard red winner in organic wheat merchandiser. Well, I tell you, Justin, this has been a very exciting week in the grain markets as the news wires were really filled with reports, giving us a lot of whipsaw type action. Once the dust settled on the week, it was definitely a buy the wheat and sell corn and beans type of mentality. And I do wanna just quickly take a look at the price actions here that we saw throughout the week uh, in the futures markets here before we get into Justin's comments. So I'm gonna share my screen with you here just real briefly. If we look at the weekly price action in the futures in terms of what the overall changes were, we can see over on the left-hand side of your screen, we're gonna start with new crop again, December corn. These corn actually uh, closed the week out with a net loss of 25 cents on the week. Switching over to beans on the, in the middle part of your screen, you see November beans actually had a loss of 43 cents on the week. And really the fireworks were seen in Kansas City December wheat uh, as they closed the week out with a net positive gain of 70 cents. Uh, followed up by Chicago December wheat, we see that they had a 56, 56 cent gain on the week and closely followed again by Minneapolis these wheat uh, gaining 53 cents on the week. So again, a lot of fireworks as we continue to see a lot of unrest and uneasiness in, in the overall market. But I do want to really focus in on some HRW comments uh, coming from Justin and what we've seen here recently. So Justin, what are you seeing in the HRW market right yeah, now? Yeah, th thanks for having me, Phil. Um, well, we started the week off with KC July futures sitting like a bird on, on a wire on the 50-day moving average. This was an important inflection point in the market that there were you know, we were tightly bracketed between the 50 and the 20 day moving averages. Thursday, we received enough fuel to run up 54 cents and finish near the top of the daily candlestick. Technicals provided the gas and India's supply concerns was the match. This was also coupled with increased dryness in the EU. But counter to the aforementioned is that Sovicon increased their 21-22 wheat crop forecast, 34.1 million metric tons and India's food secretary officer is denying <clears throat> claims of considering an export ban. Gas markets continue to be focused on sloppy logistics and execution and trade remains thin. The current state of the market is that you can't buy it and don't want to sell it, given the lack of pressure from the producer for clear reasons. Uh, it's important to note that demand is extremely lackluster and the PNW continues to be the world's high price island, which has relegated us to inelastic demand. Domestically, we're reducing HRW demand given cash price spreads versus VNSW. And this is coming on the heels of a year in which we saw the largest decrease in PNW winter wheat exports year on year. This all certainly makes sense as we're in a global weather market and at home traders are not talking about good to excellent conditions, but instead focusing on poor and very poor conditions. If Monday's USDA crop conditions show stagnant good to excellent, coupled with stagnant to increase poor and very poor, I anticipate we continue to leg higher and test contract highs after the recent precipitation in the Midwest and Southern Plains. That's a great, that's a fantastic rundown, Justin. We really do appreciate that. And really, I mean, the, the poor to very poor category has become very, very important this year, uh, you know, as we continue to be in this, in this extreme uh, you know, drought-like conditions as we move forward. Uh, so definitely get a hold of your, your local Columbia Grain merchandiser and get your pricing orders out there working because that is going to be a very important factor as we go forward as we are going to see this continued whipsaw type action. And as long as you have your orders in there working, you have something that could potentially trigger out for you. But remember, this is the most important weekend of the year. And my mother would say every day should be Mother's Day. So have a great Mother's Day weekend, and we'll talk with you next week.